Anyway, this is Lucifer going to give you a little message, a little history lesson. Long time ago, I mean a really long time ago, it was decided that, well, we had to make some uh, remediation of the human species. But that required a certain amount of prep. We had to cook the books. One of the things we did was we gave Stalin the keys of the kingdom. It is, in fact, good old Joseph Stalin was given the keys of the kingdom by none other than me. Yeah. So, anyway, but he didn't even know he had the keys until much later. I don't know. It was decided the United States of America would be defeated secretly. Secretly. Wouldn't be told to anyone, but very few. It's embodied in the message. Or there's a message embodied in uh, Don McLean's American Pie. I mean, it tells the whole tale. So here it is. There's an aircraft called a B-36 Convair. Anyway, the blueprints were made up as early as 1941. Anyway, and also the bomb, the atomic bomb. The Soviets stole both the blueprints for the B-36 and the atomic bomb. They had both. And this is where it gets interesting. The devil, that is me, gave an organization, a very secret organization that, with the aid of Stalin, was created called the Ministry. The Ministry has wide powers. It has authorization by virtue of Stalin's signature to do lots of things no one should know. So what happened was, in the Caribbean, uh, a squadron of B-36s were built surreptitiously. In addition to that, the, uh, the components for an atomic bomb, several atomic bombs, were transported by ship also to the Caribbean. Now this hell to pay here because I'm telling secrets only now can be told. March 28th. 2015 common era I didn't know this myself until July of 2009 when uh, some of my uh, people who I'm called Rangers brave and brilliant kids that uh, travel through time and space to aid their uh, well they call me the one and I am the one what happened was is these uh, fleet of B-36s, the squadron of B-36s, took off. Now they had these specially designed flotation devices that allowed like bladders, and they could land on the on the ocean surface and take off and do this repeatedly. They had rocket boosters also that aided that. So. Here comes a squadron of B-36s armed with atomic bombs flying up toward the east coast of the United States. Anyway, anyway, they crossed the Gulf of Mexico and uh, they sent a message, a radio message, saying we are in distress. Anyway, this was a ploy. All they wanted to do was get Truman's attention and they, he, they did get his attention. So after a while, they landed on the water in the Gulf of Mexico and waited patiently for a lone aircraft to appear. Anyway, then they signaled by Morse that their intentions were to drop atomic bombs on all the major cities that they could reach unless Truman submitted to their demands to surrender the United States to, well, the control of the Soviet Union to Stalin. Anyway, the plane immediately uh, 
headed toward, uh, well, an area where we thought was safe. In the meantime, it was transmitting via Morse the message that was received from the Soviets. The plane was shot down. The newfangled thing called a SAM, surface air missile. The plane never made its destination, but it did send a signal. And now Truman had a, had a uh, sort of a puzzle. How to avoid being bombed to death by a secret squadron of B-36s run by the Soviets or submit to tyranny. Well, he said, I'm from Missouri, show me. And of course the Soviets did show him. They did, they took one bomber and they, uh, anyway, they flew over the Ozarks and they dropped that bomb right on the goddamn Ozarks and blew a whole bunch of hillbillies to hell. Well, anyway, this is sufficient news for Truman to believe that they had what they wanted. I mean, they had the power to drop all these little fucking bombs on Atlanta, Miami, uh, New York, Washington, D.C., every place. So anyway, Truman surrendered. 1946, December of 1946. The date I am not clear on yet. I think it was December 11th, 2000. No, excuse me, December 11th, 1946. No, I'll strike that. December 11th, 1945. I'm telling you that because you need to know what your country is. It is a vassal of a larger kingdom. You, my friends, you Americans, are nothing more than slaves to a hidden master that you can't stop. The reason I say that is because I know. So everything you have here is part of the Soviet system or the legacy. Everything in this place is modeled after the Soviet system, the bureaucracy. And yes, of course, the devil is responsible. Why? I'm not proud of it because I think it would have been nice if we could have avoided this kind of thing. I really hated to have them bomb the fucking Ozarks, even though I don't see any problem with that officially. Anyway, December 11th, 1945, the United States surrenders secretly to the Soviet Union, becomes part and parcel of the Soviet Empire. But then things got even more interesting in 1972. And the oil embargo was about to commence. The Russians had run out of oil because of their greed. They were living off the American uh, tit for so long. They decided they didn't need anything. They needed oil. So they went to the Saudis. But that's another chapter. That's chapter two. The history world, real, as told by me, Lucifer.